Love Breaks the Machine. Yes, indeed, it does, my friends. That's brand new music from Of Montreal. Crazy, insane, super pop band. They're on an indie label. They've been on polyvinyl forever. They could have made the jump to a major many, many years ago. And fortunately, I think we are seeing a lot of independent bands stay on independent labels and have great success, like Spoon or Arcade Fire or many, many others. That's from their brand new record called False Priest, and that seems pretty apt today as Joey Rats makes the rounds. And of course, we'll get to that a little bit later in the show. We should also mention that that song, Enemy Gene, features Janelle Monet, who also has an interesting album of her own out called The Arch Android. Think of it as a thinking person's Lady Gaga. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Evan Pilato. I'm your host and webmaster of the site and show, MediaMonarchy.com. This is episode 187, and it's September 17th, 2010. And as always, we are broadcasting live from the Portland Radio Authority, PRARadio.org, live every Friday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And of course, thanks to our great affiliates who carry the show, rebroadcast the show, help spread the word about MediaMonarchy.com such as ZeroPointRadio.com, blasting it out worldwide, live as we speak, simulcast. And they also kick it out in Casper, Wyoming, 92.3 FM and 1670 AM. And of course, the worldwide home of free speech, RevereRadio.net. And then we also thank Free Radio Olympia, FROlympia.org, 98.5 FM in Olympia, Washington. BerkeleyLiberationRadio.net on 104.1 FM, Patriot Radio in La Mesa, Texas on 89.9, and of course, thanks to Radio23.org, high quality episodes, suitable for rebroadcast. If you have an alternative media outlet, you don't have to ask, just get the high quality version if you're going to re-stream it, and I appreciate it. And you know, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, YouTube, Ustream, which we are streaming live video as we speak right now. Blip.tv, Cafe Press, you can get a Media Monarchy t-shirt. Email at Gmail, Media Monarchy at Gmail. Skype, Instant Messenger, iTunes, RadioForAll.net, Archive.org. And of course, you can donate. Your support helps keep alternative media going. I sent out the last batch, the most recent batch, of DVDs, 2020 Hindsight, out to folks. And again, thanks to Freddie and Gary and Dave and everybody out there. It's much appreciated. Speaking of appreciated, well, I'll get into that. (laughs) Hold on a second. I should also mention at this point, too, if you don't make it to the end, which you should, I don't see why not, it's the most power-packed weekly two-hour radio show you're likely to find anywhere. I took my college radio programming skills from the East Coast and brought them over here, and now you got alternative news and politics remixed with the context and the subtext. We are nonpartisan big tent everybody's welcome because the paradigm is shifting something is happening but there will not be a live show next week we're going to take next week off i've got family in town and i deserve a break as well so no show next week however we will return october 1st with episode 188 as we always like to do we like to glance at the breaking news to see what the hell's going on in this insane world, we see Continental and United shareholders approve combo. Hurricane Carl with a K batters Mexico as it nears landfall. And of course, former Hitler Youth Joey Ratzinger, now Pope Benedict, parading around the world. And we'll get to the related updates there. But damn, I love when a plan comes together, my friends, and a huge thanks to all the folks out there who helped pull this off. This time, last week, on episode 186, I was telling you about the idea I hatched 
to combat the Quran burning hysteria that we were going to burn the 9-11 commission report. Long story short, here we are a week later, and I'll just tell you, on the ninth anniversary of 9-11, local activists from Portland, Oregon gathered together to burn copies of the 9-11 commission report. Myself of MediaMonarchy.com and my man Clyde Lewis of GroundZeroMedia.org thank everybody that came out to the event. It was on the ninth anniversary. In the course of 48 hours, we had press release. We sent it out to all the local media, newspaper, TV, radio. One station came out, and that's Coin6 News. K-O-I-N, CoinLocal6.com. And again, thanks to everybody, and it was great to meet folks out there. And again, it's all about kind of transcending these virtual tools that let us do all these things and try and make connections in the real world, because that's where it's going to count. But folks like Marshall and Carrie Ann and Nate and all kinds of other folks, huge thanks. Again, don't hate the media, become the media. I also hope that this maybe shows that press releases can get results. I'm not saying if you send out a press release, everybody's going to show up for every little thing you do. But they're certainly not going to come out if they have no idea about it. So I think successfully we were able to hijack the, again, false paradigms that they keep all of us in. And we fight amongst each other on our class and identity differences. But we never look up and see who's causing all the problems because, as I think hopefully a lot of, if not most of you folks, know from doing your own research, and that's the main point. What I try and do on the show and what I try and do on the site is just lay out a path that I try to lay down. And again, I'm just figuring all this out myself. We have to communicate and share this information. It has to go somewhere bigger. We can't just sit at our computers at night. As easy and fun as that can be. I also want to thank Mike at GroundZeroTV.org. He's been doing a lot of the video work for Clyde Lewis. And we'll cover some of that, too, as we go through. We also want to thank all the folks who picked up the story. And that was why I sort of broadcast it so loudly last week, is that I wanted to get this meme out there. There were guys, I think, in North Carolina and other places who had videos and did the same thing. It was already heating up, if you will. But when we got the story and Coin6 ran it on the news, I was able to get it on VHS tape, run that to a DV cam, then rip that to the computer and put that up to YouTube. And now you can see it on youtube.com slash media monarchy, where in under a week, almost 5,000 people have watched it. It has gone gangbusters. And again, huge thanks. Infowars picked it up. Huge thanks to them. The Excavator picked it up. Huge thanks to DisquietReservations.blogspot.com and FreedomsPhoenix.com and all the other places that picked it up. Again, I don't know what else to say. I also want to mention, as I look at my notes and look at what's on the website as well, again, we're swimming in information. But information is just kind of raw data. We have to kind of process it into some kind of knowledge hopefully i was listening to the most recent radio show from webster tarpley and in talking about the terry jones quran burning hysteria that again we we hijacked the meme we knew the media would be interested in book burning because that's that's the bread and circus that's going on right now that's the show that's the summertime show that Again, you got to be careful when we see all the summer tabloid garbage that usually is covering up something that blows up in our face sometime around now. October surprise style. Tarpley made an interesting point that had a bit of synchronicity for me comparing Terry Jones and even going into a little bit of his background that, of course, contains the military and Germany and basically provocateur work. And that's what you see, all these folks. They may not be directly connected to the feds, but they can be patsies or dupes or useful idiots, and they can fulfill a purpose, just like the Westboro. But Tarpley referred to him as Elmer Gantry, which is a book 
who wrote off the top of my head I can't come up with it but there's a film famous film 1960 Burt Lancaster won best actor as a huckster charlatan fake preacher who's really a womanizer and a drinker referring to Terry Jones as Elmer Gantry one we always like to put things in pop a culture terms I think it makes it easier to process and makes it easier to kind of see and stir the stew that we're swimming in but in a synchronistic way I had that film my <laughs> my girlfriend had it on her Netflix queue and we already had it at the house hadn't watched it yet and then to hear the relation that again that's what I love and it's why I do this let's blast through the related 9-11 plus 9 updates the sort of day after updates that again all of the things and all the great street actions that took place all around the world for 9-11 truth and reconciliation as we're gonna see but a quick rundown of some of the related headlines that again are posted up and everything kind of links around to each other on the main YouTube video that has gone viral of Portland group burning the 9-11 commission report on the 9-11 anniversary everything's posted up under that unsettled nation marks 9-11 with rituals of sorrow put quite bluntly from the Associated Press and this should have gotten its own post it did last year and now again it happens again and just like we see on many many levels they kind of wear down our resistance we can fight against something for a while but attrition gets us down man straight from whitehouse.gov continuation of the national emergency with respect to certain terrorist attacks that's right my friends for the second year in a row Obama Sia, Barry Satoro, has continued the declaration of national emergency put in September 19th, 2001. So now, nine years plus, we are still under the emergency declaration that essentially kicks in all the other provisions, all the other national security decision directives, presidential decision directives, signing statements, executive orders continuity of government that Peter Dale Scott has done so much fantastic work on continuing down the list again from the aforementioned truth excavator 9-11 state of emergency an era of madness and despair getting into this continuity continuation of the national emergency we've got the head of Homeland Stupidity at Napolitano saying terror threats are evolving and we had an army, a quote-unquote army of NYPD cops keeping the peace at opposing 9-11 rallies near the mosque site. And of course, that's another provocateur, CFR, corporate media-funded fake battle. Don't get sucked in. Don't get sucked into all of these little ridiculous partisan battles. But let's see it from gallup.com nine years after 9-11 few see terrorism as top u.s problem that's because it's not and that's why they have to keep cranking it up and that's why ridiculous regimes throughout history have used terror attacks either capitalized on the rare real ones or let them happen make them happen on purpose we will see many varieties of what is called false flag activity acting like somebody else did the attack we got another bombshell from a london think tank this is on sign of the times no al-qaeda threat surprise surprise and more good news 9 11 victims family refuses settlement forces trial on corporate responsibility that comes from the fantastic allgov.com there's a great piece on jackbloodforum.com untangling the bizarre CIA links to the Ground Zero mosque. Russia today shedding extreme doubt on the official story of 9-11. Dick Gregory has begun a fast for 9-11 truth. Jerry Mazza has a great article on the making of 9-11 activists. And speaking of, activists put up a third beam on the ninth anniversary symbolizing building what? Dot org 